Hello everyone, it's Tara and welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel if you are not new here. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yesterday we went to Target and picked out a few items to dip in a chocolate fondue crock pot that my fiance got me. Today is actually the next day and we're about to go to Staples to get these packages shipped off. So I'll put the clips from yesterday in now and then after those clips I'll see you in the car for today's part of the vlog. So I hope you enjoy. <laughs> So my fiance got me this really cool nostalgia mini crock pot thing. Um, it's called My Mini Dipper and it's for melting chocolate. Um, it's a fondue dipper basically and it has this little pot that comes out like a crock pot and here's the lid for it. I'm planning to do like cheese dips and a bunch of other kinds of hot dips and stuff with it so I'm really excited to try that out. And it came with these little, um, I want to call them spears, but they're pretty cool. And it came with four of those little spears. I don't know why it's not focusing, but there's four of them. These are just little tools so you can dip all your items in the fondue or sauce that you make. So I'm going to be putting chocolate in it today basically I'm gonna be melting this chocolate candy coating um, it says put it in the microwave or on the stove but I thought it would work okay for this and it did for the most part um, so I'm gonna get my pot ready and I'm gonna open up the chocolate here it is and we just want to get the pot all set up I plugged it in there's no on or off switch, and we're just going to put our chocolate in here. That's all I did, is I, put, I plugged it in and put the chocolate in there, and it started to melt. Um, woo. <laughs> but the chocolate started to melt, and I'm going to do a little time lapse of the chocolate melting. We have some strawberries ready to go into the chocolate and some fresh bananas to go in there as well. We also got some Ruffles potato chips to try in there too. We also got some sea salt dry roasted peanuts and we also might melt some cream cheese frosting in there and then we might also try some bacon as well. We'll just have to see. Here's what it's looking like. It's starting to melt pretty good and we're really excited. Now we are ready to start with our bananas and bananas go fast so we're gonna start with those. I'm just gonna stick this thing in here and yeah it was kind of hard to get the food to stay on the little thing, the stick, whatever you want to call it. Um, it kept sliding off and then the chocolate was really heavy. Also, I feel like if maybe we would have cut it a little thicker, um, it would have worked better, but the, these ended up working out fine and they taste really good. My fiance actually brought up using a spoon, so that's what I'm doing now, and it ended up working pretty well. We ended up doing that, I think, for most of the bananas. These are basically what the bananas look like when they were done. After we filled up this parchment paper, we just put them in the freezer, and that's where I'm keeping them. So next we started on the strawberries. We dipped them in the chocolate, and this is what the chocolate was looking like 
but here are the strawberries that we had done. That one over here is a, that's just a banana that got stuck in there, but let's not worry about that. The strawberries ended up looking really delicious and they tasted really delicious too. Ignored the little piece of banana stuck in the chocolate. <laughs> So I'm pretty sure we made a, a mistake here. I was trying to, um, it was 10 o'clock at night and I was trying to get some more chocolate to melt faster because we ran out and we still had some strawberries and stuff to finish. So I put some in the pot to melt and then I put some in the microwave and I think my chocolate ended up seizing up when I put the stuff, the melted stuff from the microwave in here and it made it really hard and not very great to work with and I think it ended up burning it a little bit too but I still got most of the strawberries done and they still taste really good so all in all I think this was a success and it was really fun to do it with my fiance a little couples activity I really had a lot of fun doing it and here are the finished strawberries I think all in all, we ended up with 11. Please ignore that. That's Benny. He's barking at me for talking. He's a sweet boy. You're a sweet boy. In my next video, I'm doing a voiceover right now, but in my next video, I'll introduce you to my pups. Um, there's Benny, Penny, and Sweet Pea. But anyway, I think we ended up with 11 strawberries and a bunch of bananas. So I'm in the car and my fiance is in a store. We just got our shipping labels printed out from Staples and we're about to go get those. I'm actually have to get those taped on now and then we're going to get them shipped off. So I have my shipping labels from Staples and I'm going to get those taped on now and then we're going to stop by and ship them off. We have to stop home and then we have to go out again to go to another store. So. I'll see you when we're leaving again to go to the other store. But when I purchased it, I didn't notice that some of the beading was gone. I did have that in my listing, so the buyer knows that there's something wrong with the top. We're going to put it in these bags, and I actually got new warning labels for them. If you can't see that, it says, Warning, keep away from small children. The thin film may cling to nose and mouth and prevent breathing. So basically, I bought um, suffocation warning stickers. And here is the item all packaged up and ready to go. Thank you for joining me to pack these packages. Hopefully I got some good footage. I know I didn't really talk about anything, but sorry if I'm a bit awkward on camera still. I'm really trying to get better at it. Thank you for watching. So we're just about to go to Staples and print out the shipping labels for the two packages that I have to send off today. I'll try to film at Staples, but I don't know how interesting that will be. So it's late at night. It's dark and I'm filming this on my tablet with really bad quality, but I know the end of this video was pretty much everywhere. The car sequence or part was supposed to be after me talking in that room, uh, but I messed up editing it. I thought I didn't have that footage and then I found the footage so I ended up having to put it after that and so please just work with me on that and I hope you enjoyed this video. I noticed I didn't film an outro. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!